Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jacer, I hope you're doing well. Uh, in this video, I'm going to solve number 7 from BFE.dev. It's implement the bounds with leading and training option. And for the basic version, which is number 6, I've already solved in the previous video. Please search on my channel. Uh, also, if you're interested, please, uh, uh, I'd be very glad if you've subscribed my channel. Okay, this problem, we're going to implement an enhanced version of the debounce with the uh, leading and training option. And leading means whether to invoke right away, with the training, whether to invoke after the delay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, this is the example uh, without any any debouncing. Now, if we debounce with leading false and training true, which is the default, right? Default case for number six. Okay, leading false, so we don't when we mean to A, we don't we don't trigger it. We don't uh, invoke it right away. We wait three dashes, one, two, three. But uh, while uh, we're waiting, we we came uh, the B came, right? And then we waited three dashes, and does C came? Okay, we wait three dashes, and D came. Okay, D, and we three dashes, and it is finally invoked. So the A, B, C are all swallowed. Uh, and uh, the same runs for EFG here. So finally we get DG, which is the default case. And then if we set leading true and trading is true, what we get is that uh, for A, there's no, no, nothing we're waiting. So we invoked right away. So we have three dashes and the B is here. We wait three dashes. C is here waiting three dashes and D is here waiting three dashes. So D. This is the same for leading false and trading true. And the same goes for E and G. This is for leading and trading true. Mm -hmm. If we say leading true and trading false, we say so we only trigger A and E, right? And if we say leading is false and trading is false, we, name, we mean we don't invoke anything. Anything, so nothing happens. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's uh, solve it. So idea is that uh, pretty, I think, uh, uh, straightforward. When well, every time we trigger the debounced function, we set a timer with a delay, right? With a delay, and when time is up, we check if we need to invoke to invoke the function or not. Uh, by checking the trolling option, right? If it is okay, we trigger it. If it's here, we trigger it. If not, we don't trigger it. And uh, then beside that, we need to handle the leading, right? The leading is means if when we trigger it, we still set the timer. But if uh, there is no timer at all, if there's no cooling, it is not cooling down, we invoke, invoke it, right? And if there's only one, if there's only one uh, call, and uh, if we use it, use it for leading, if we it invoked once, and then we wait the uh, delay, and we cannot trigger it again. If we, if we do that, we will there will be double two two. Uh, it will be double A here, which is not right, right? So we need to keep a flag saying that um, the A is already triggered for the leading, so we don't try uh, tr invoked for the trading. Okay, so we let's do it. Uh, just as we did before, we set a timer. And then we return a function. We, we use normal function because we need to keep track about the this context. Uh huh. And then, no matter what, timer needs to be reset, right? So we clear the timer, not the interval, but clear the timeout. Uh, we just timer and the timer. We set the new timer. We uh, window set uh, timeout. We use arrow function here because the context within it will be bound to this normal func normal function. Uh, when it is uh, when time is up, we uh, we check the option training. If it is training, and then we invoke. Invoke it, right? So we uh, function call this with the uh, R arguments. Okay, after that, we set the timer to null. 
and here we should be wait, right? So this is it. This is for the trailing. If it just falls, even if even the time may, time is up, we don't do anything. And now we need to handle the leading, right? If not cooling down and the leading is true, invoke it right away. Uh, so it means if timer is null, uh, we set it null to null here. And uh, leading is true, so option the leading, then we trigger it. So function call these arcs. And we need to keep track of the f if it is already triggered for the uh, leading, right? So we set create um, lead leading. Whether should we keep the flag outside the of this uh, closure? X function or not? When but the timer is set here, so it's okay. Uh, is uh, invoked? It's false. If we call it, we set it to true, and here it is trading, and it is not invoked, right? Yeah, so this is the this is the code. Let's submit. Great. Okay, I post it on the uh, discussion panel. Hope, hope it could helps, and uh, yeah. That's all for this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll bring you more and more uh, interesting videos. Bye bye.